Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really cute and fun monarch butterfly design. Um, my inspiration was actually um, a photo I had seen on the um, OPI website and I thought, you know what, I can do that. So what I did to start is for time saving purposes, I've already applied my base coat which um, I'm using Setch Plus, but you can use any clear base coat you'd like. Um, I prefer to use strengtheners. And then I've applied only one coat, and it's a little streaky, but that's okay because we're going to cover that up. But I've applied one coat of this Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Mellow Yellow. So um, just one coat of a creamy yellow polish. And then this is the um, fun part. Now you can get this from dollarnailart.com. I'll put some links below. Um, this is nail foil glue. Um, and I've done videos before on my nail foils, so you can use this. And then you're going to need some pigments. Now um, I am using my MAC pigment in. These are just pigments that I pressed. I'm using Golden Lemon, which is a really nice yellow color. And then I'm also going to be using, if you can see it, let me try to get it in frame right here, um, Golden Melon. And then you're also going to need like a bronzy color. Now this isn't a pigment, this is just a really sparkly eyeshadow. You want to use a really nice coppery color. Um, Another one that I like um, is a Milani eyeshadow in Flare, and it's just a nice bronzy, coppery, like a penny type color. Because we're kind of fading it on the nail here. Let me get you guys in a better focus. Okay, so see how it's more. Um, bronzy and coppery here in the corner and then kind of fades out to the yellow. That's what we're going to do on this nail. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your nail foil glue. You can use other craft glues too um, that dry tacky. Um, but I suggest using a nail glue, like a nail foil glue. It goes on kind of opaque. And then um, it dries translucent, so it'll dry clear. Pretty much clear. We're going to go in with our little brush, and we're going to start in the corner with our bronze color. And we're just going to press it on in the corner here. Then we're going to take some of our golden melon, which is like a an orangey coppery color. We're going to overlap that first coppery color. I kind of blow on it. I'm not really like wiping it off, I'm just blowing on it for now. And I'm going to go in with that golden lemon. Now, if you don't have these colors, you can use nail polish that's shimmery and sponge painted on, but you're going to need a copper color and some yellow colors. But it just sticks right to that foil glue. So with the, the golden lemon, as I drop my brush, with the golden lemon, I'll start at the tip when I press it in and then go all over the whole nail. And then I blow on it, wipe my brush off real quick, and kind of flick it off. I did get a little smudgy spot right there with the glue. That's all right. So that's your base, and it'll really pop when you top coat it. So we're going to let that dry, and sometimes the top coat reacts funny with the pigments. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell that. It's kind of like crinkling and crackling. That's cool. That's what we want. And we've got the base of yellow on there, so even if it does crack and separate, it's going to be fine. You got a little um, soda cap with some black acrylic paint. Dip my brush into some water. 
so I can thin it down to a better consistency. And the corner that we have our copper color in, we're just going to make a quick little arch like that. And we're going to make one parallel to it up here on the top. Okay. And the one on the top, we're going to fill in with the black. Okay. And we're going to bring it down the side and connect it to the one there on the bottom. So you got like a curvy black tip and a little curve down here at the bottom. Now you're going to make little lines, usually three or four, depending on the size of the nail, going down like that. So that's pretty easy. And we're going to round them off. Okay, we'll do this one. Okay, I'm going to round it off. it off and then just fill it in and then this last one it's not that big of a deal because it's so tiny then I like to go in with my paint again go over all of my lines to make sure they're nice and crisp and opaque and fill in any spots that need filled in now we're gonna make the random patterns so I usually on the larger section kind of cut it in half with a curved line like that and then on this one I might go straight across and then round those edges so it's completely as you can see on these ones completely random so I mean you really don't have to think about it too much make sure you're in frame And because it's so random, I had no problem doing my left hand. Like, it still looks just as good as my right hand. Because they're super random lines. Then this little section here on the side of my nail, I just cut straight in half. Done deal. Clean my brush off because now I'm going to go into my white. Again, you might have to thin it down to get it to flow smoothly off of your brush. You don't want it too thin because then it'll pool and puddle. That's no good. So we're going to dip it in. I'm going to make a row of white dots going across the tip of the nail okay and then we're gonna make some littler dots going down that side black line that we made okay so you are essentially done. Take our top coat. Make sure our, our paint's dry. Super fun, super cute, Monarch Butterfly Nails. I really should have waited for this one to dry just a little bit more, but I was excited to show it to you. Now, what I would do now is I take this brush here, dip it in pure acetone, and clean up all my edges. And that's it. And then you are completely done with your super cute Monarch Butterfly Nails. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Bye.